Hello everyone. Welcome back to Sunny. We have messed with sound settings and we have no idea why it sounds the way it does. We haven't changed a thing, it just got worse. I don't know, yeah, we, we really don't know why, but I guess we're, this is just us knowing now that we have to go get a better microphone, so yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We've recorded a bunch before and it was never perfect, but it's never been this bad. So, uh, sorry. Honestly, I, I think it's partially on the game, but I can't lower the volume of the game without lowering my master volume, because, uh, this game only has on and off. So anyways, read some text. It says, on an old sign, this way to you, 80 kilometers? Yes, we can. Gotcha. <laughs> what the hell is you? Let's just follow it and find out. The ship is burning in the distance. Poor... Oh no! Lewis! No, that's actually so sad! He was just a blind man! Oh my god! I think he was more than just a blind man. He was the man who saved... who brought us back to life. He had the secrets of literally bringing the dead back to life. And... Well, you said and, and then stopped. Well, then I figured I started, there was something else more to that. Well, I started thinking about it, and I was like, wait, if he died, but then he didn't turn into a zombie, then he's one of those weird immune people, and he's like, but why am I immune? Is this, like, the last of us? You mean Lewis? No, the guy that we're playing. Sonny? Yeah. I don't know, is it? I don't know, I guess we'll have to I mean, play those, the those fun. I mean, those CPC and I guys sure didn't see. Like Xandros. Also, if Lewis turned into a zombie, he probably got burned alive and re died, so I don't know if that's really relevant. Well, right, but those other guys that came to kill us a minute ago that weren't zombies were alive. Like, they, they never died. Because they were on a helicopter. Like, we died. A sign. Oh, wait, clips. The sign points. Reading is hard, you guys. Hopefully it will lead to a better place. Yeah, it I don't... means heaven. A, a headless ghost fisherman. A ghost fishy boy. A headless man appears to be fishing here. But not a hatless man. We still have that damn hat. <laughs> okay. It's just Raiden actually. Let's check the store. Well, a tape player. Stuff. No, I don't have one of those. But I fished up other useful things if I want to buy. Uh, we should probably. Put our gun on. Probably. Do you want to keep the pipe or do you want to sell it for three dollars? Sell that shit for three dollars. We're not a pipe slinger, but we sure do be slinging pipe on these streets. You can unfollow us. <laughs> I've. You know, the worst <laughs> part is I have so few subscribers that even though I'm only gonna lose like two or three. There's only four people watching this video, so that's damn near everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Jackass. <laughs> I love you too, which is the only reason you're getting away with that. <laughs> okay, so look at the holy fucking shit, this katana's expensive. Oh my goodness. And look, Assassin Secondary Arms. So this is one of the big reasons why picking a class is important. Your class, oddly enough, restricts your gear choices more than it does your actual stats on their own or your abilities. Because you can pick the abilities regardless of class. Yeah. Um, your base stats differ a little bit, depending on your class, sure. But you can still pick whatever ability and you can equip gear until it starts being restricted by class. And that's really where it comes in, because, you know, every character, like, you know, if you could just put on plus four speed and plus four strength, even if you only use it once every three fights, it's better than nothing, you might as well have it, right? But only the assassin can use it at all. So, that's kind of where your class starts to change up what you can really use. Also, there's a pulse rifle here if you want to be as opposed to the one we've got, but now you need to start comparing to 
because it was pretty easy to throw in the gun instead of the pipe because it gives magic and the pipe gives no magic and gives magic. Right. But now, this gives magic 11 and magic piercing 5. This just gives magic 12 and speed 2. So is one more magic worth losing piercing? And how much do you really care about the speed? We don't really care about the katanas in this case. But then we've also got hunter's leggings, which... Or, I guess I should say, the Hunter's set. Uh-huh. We've got the Shadow set, I guess we we'll call it. Okay. And... Deep Sea Green. Deep Sea. So if you look at the Deep Sea one, Magic, Strength, but mostly Vitality with Ice and Shadow Defense. Uh-huh. The Sneaky one has Speed and Strength, which with uh, Physical Defense and piercing. So obviously this one is best for an assassin. It mostly has speed. Okay. The red one is best for a guardian as it mostly has health and defense. Okay. And then the hunter ones have mostly magic more than anything. Which we should go for the... How much are them? Oh, I guess we could buy both of those. Like that. The and then the campfires. That's one strength. Damn oh it. no, we're not level four yet. Oh well. Oh well, we're almost there. Also, there's training fights. So you can grind as long as you want. Oh. <laughs> now, you get less and less XP as you get a higher level because the enemies in the training fights don't scale their level, so it becomes less efficient. But hypothetically, you can keep going for way too long of a time. Also, you can go on the world map and go back and actually fight the boss fight of the last zone endlessly. Oh, nice! So, if you wanted to, if, say, you were playing a strength-based character or something, um, you could keep going until the captain dropped his blade instead. Oh. Since, since the first time we did it, we pulled the gun, well, we liked the gun, but if we pulled his sword instead and we wanted the gun, because we're gunslinger, we could do this again and try to get the Find the nearest payphone. Me? No, take it easy. but a magic gun. Right? What a stupid tape. I better keep going forward and see what's ahead. Maybe I'll find some civilization. Maybe someone will help me. That's so sad. Listen, I never said Max Magical was a good build. Why didn't you tell me this game was sad? I told you. I told you that I couldn't tell you and that you just me. you just needed to all oh, sprout. Are you okay? You lost it, sweetie. Hey, he it's was okay. already blind, and he saved us. He gave us a tape. Now we just gotta find a tape player, and then we can listen to his mixtape, and then we'll <laughs> actually probably cry because we'll miss him. It's actually just a sick mixtape. Oh boy, we can sell our shoes. Don't sell the shoes. No, I sold the old shoes, silly. I sold those for three more dollars. <laughs> we don't have enough money for the leg plates, though. We need them plates. Oh, what did I do? 
you to deserve this. Going for my meme build. You're grounded. I'm memeing. Listen, when this, when we die, we can't make it any further. I'll respect into something that's not completely guarded. Okay. But until then, we're going for the meme build. Okay. We like, we like shooting high damage magic. Um, it's my favorite. Yeah. So, speed, strength, physical piercing. Nah, I think we probably want magic, vitality. Look, here, look at these. See how the name has a different color on it? Yeah. Like some of these are just like common white, but these are like uncommon blue. So they're rare tier items. Huh. Yeah. Now we have pants. Delicious pants. How much is this Not enough hat.
we can keep the armor of the fallen in case we need it. Two zombies can do one hell of a stun lock on you at the start. Just survive their initial burst and their heavy attacks will be on cooldown. Ooh, a tip. Would you look at that. I wonder what you should do in this scenario then. Ooh, double speed reduction. Hey, thanks for helping me back there, bud. I'm Veridus. 
They call me Sonny. I can't remember my real name. The Sensei does not approve of your presence here. We've been sent to kill you. Hey, I got you back, Sonny. Run them over. Counter Sensei's Enrage with either a Dispel or a Stun, or else he will one-shot someone. Make sure you have a way to regain your focus, and don't let you or Veridox drop too low on health. Mm -hmm. I like how the game gives you tips on stuff. You yeah. You refuse to leave. For that. <laughs>
a new color of item. Even wow. rarer. Crown of Frozen Shadows. And the magic's still not good or, or better than the other one, but... Uh, well, considering we don't have a hat, uh, and it gives us more than literally none, I'd say it's a lot better. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> magic Piercing lets us ignore magic defense, which is great for a bolt. Physical defense is just good to not get smacked as hard. Mm -hmm. At least by physical attacks. And hey, stats are stats. So one thing you could also hypothetically do is fight him again and again to get all of his armor. This place was pretty, I liked it. Oh, and then this place is called Gadi Kala, the Great Plains. That's pretty too. So what do we have to look at here? Ooh, look at that, a village. Mm, all right, you two are welcome to stay here, but there is a bigger city on the other side of the mountain. You'll have to kill the shaman council of the castle. Got an armor set for sale that would be useful for fighting those nasty rock golems. Rock golems. Speed, vitality, physical, and earth defense. Hmm. Bloody blades and then a bloody dagger for speed and physical piercing. Wondering who that's for. And a steel slicer, strength and vitality. You know, because it doesn't say in the item who that's for. Okay. Uh, the ivory mace and the ivory shield. I can guess who that's for, too. Wonder, wonder. Nature's fury? Hey, look at that. There's some raw magic. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, get that. Oh, well, look at how much it costs. Get it! Oh. <laughs> We're poor. Knight's gloves. Ooh, one single destroyer class item. Strikers flip-flops. Anyone can wear them, but hey, don't slip. <laughs> Cute. I think that's the only one so far with flavor text. I like when these things have flavor text. Breaker's pantyhose. Yep, that's right. Pantyhose are armor. Sexy, but deadly. Yeah, yeah, at least it's still pretty. Literally just a dead peacock. Why? Why? There's so much sadness in this game. Yo, kick your ass. We make a heck of a team. So, how long do you plan, do you plan to stick, stick around? around? Uh, until, until death do us part. Aww. You're hilarious. This is shame, lads. I'm gonna cut you down in the name of my truck. Yeah, you notice his attack just did focus damage, not health damage.